You must have a lot of questions for me. I only have one for you. I need the subspace frequencies of Starfleet's border protection grids, specifically those surrounding Earth. Christopher, answer my question. No, you answer for the genocide you just committed against a peaceful no, planet. I prevent genocide. In my time, where I come from, this is a simple mining vessel. I chose a life of honest labor. I provide for myself and the wife who is expecting my child. I was off planet, doing my job while your Federation did nothing, and allowed my people to burn while our planet broke in half. And Spock, he didn't help us. He no, betrayed no, us. No, you're, you're, you're confused. You've been misinformed. Romulus hasn't been destroyed. It's out there right now. You're, you're blaming the Federation for something that hasn't happened. It has happened! I watched it happen! I saw it happen! Don't tell me it didn't happen! And when I lost her, I promised myself retribution. And for 25 years, I planned my revenge against the Federation. And forgot what it was like to live a normal life. I could not forget the pain. It's a pain that every surviving Vulcan now shares. My purpose, Christopher, is to not simply avoid the destruction of the home that I love, but to create a Romulus that exists free of the Federation. You see, only then will she be truly safe. That is why I will destroy all the remaining Federation planets, starting with yours. Then we have nothing left to discuss. You will give me the frequencies to disable Earth's defenses. Centaurian slugs. They latch onto your brainstem. And release a toxin that will force you to answer. Frequencies, please, sir. Christopher Pike, Captain USS Enterprise. I wish, sir. Have you confirmed that Nero is headed for Earth? Their trajectory suggests no other destination, Captain. Thank you, Lieutenant. Earth may be his next stop, but we have to assume every Federation planet's a target. Out of the chair. Well, if the Federation is a target, why didn't they destroy us? Why would they? Why waste a weapon? They obviously weren't a threat. That is not it. He said he wanted me to see something, the destruction of my home planet. How the hell did they do that, by the way? And where did the Romulans get that kind of weaponry? The engineering comprehension necessary to artificially create a black hole may suggest an answer. Such technology could theoretically be manipulated to create a tunnel through space-time. Damn it, man, I'm a doctor, not a physicist. Are you actually suggesting they're from the future? If you eliminate the impossible, whatever remains, however improbable, must be the truth. How poetic. Then what would an angry future Romulan want with Captain Pike? As captain, he does know details of Starfleet's defenses. What we need to do is catch up to that ship. Disable it, take it over, and get Pike back. We are technologically outmatched in every way. A rescue attempt would be illogical. Nero's ship would have to drop out of warp for us to overtake well, Then him. what about assigning engineering crews to try and boost our warp yield? The remaining power and crew are being used to repair radiation leaks uh, in the lower decks okay, and damage right, to some right. communications without There's which we got cannot to be contact some way. Starfleet. We must gather with the rest of Starfleet to balance the terms of the next engagement. There won't be a next engagement. By the time we've gathered, it'll be too late. But you say he's from the future, knows what's going to happen, then the logical thing is to be unpredictable. You're assuming that Nero knows how events are predicted to unfold. The contrary, Nero's very presence has altered the flow of history, beginning with the attack on the USS Kelvin, culminating in the events of today, thereby creating an entire new chain of incidents that cannot be anticipated by either party. An alternate reality. Precisely. Whatever our lives might have been if the time continuum was disrupted, our destinies have changed. Mr. Sulu, plot a course to the Laurentian system, warp factor three. Spock, don't do that. Running back to the rest of the fleet for a, a, a confab is a massive waste of time. These are the orders issued by Captain Pike when he left He also ship. ordered us to go back and get him. Spock, you are captain now. You I have am to aware make of my responsibilities, Mr. Every Pike. second we waste, Nero's getting closer to his next target. That is correct, and why I'm instructing you to accept the fact that I I'm alone... I not allow us to go command. backwards. Jim, I have no problem instead of hunting Nero down. Security, escort him out. Hey! Uh, 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 uh
Get him off this ship. Here, where am I? Location Delta Vega, Class M planet. Unsafe. There is a Starfleet outpost 14 kilometers to the northwest. Remain in your pod. Oh, you got it. Authorities. James T. Kirk. Excuse me? How did you find me? Oh, oh. How do you know my name? I have been and always shall be your friend. <laughs> oh, look, uh, I, I don't know you. I am Spock. Bullshit. It is remarkably pleasing to see you again, old friend. Especially after the events of today. Uh, <laughs> Sir, I, I appreciate what you did for me today, but if, if you were Spock, you'd know we're not friends at all. You hate me. You maroon me here for mutiny. Mutiny? Yes. You are not the captain? <sighs> no, no. Um, you're the captain. Pike was taken hostage. By Nero. What do you know about him? 
is a particularly troubled Romulan. Please, allow me. It will be easier. Whoa, whoa, what are you doing? Our minds, one and together. 129 years from now, a star will explode and threaten to destroy the galaxy.